Hi all, in this video let's learn about React Helmet, where and how to use React Helmet. Usually we use React Helmet as a component where we want to manage our document.head dynamically. So let's see that with an example. So here we can see a sample application where you can see the head. So with this React Helmet, we can dynamically modify this document.head. So for example, as, as on when the page loads, the title is different, React app. But we could able to modify the page name, page title and its descriptions. So the what are the uses of this React Helmet is? So number one usage is dynamically we can modify the titles and descriptions of document.head. Because of this, such engine optimization, so SEO would be increased a lot. So that's the first benefit. And the second benefit is if all the React applications are single page applications. So if you have any route related to that component, title would be enlightened at the top of the page. So now I am in the component page 2. So that's the reason the title is page 2. If I go to component page 1, usually in the single page applications, this would be happening. If you go to one, one page, we need to get that title, that respective component or feature title. So that can be achieved very easily with this React Helmet. So internally what happens and how to implement that. Let's see. So now I am in the page 1 and the title and I am in this page. If you observe in the header tag, document.header tag, here the title is page 1 title. So that's the reason at the top we are seeing page 1. And this is a page 1 description. So here you can see the meta tag which is related to page 1 description. So if I click, if I go to page 2, you can observe. The title was modified to page 2 and the meta tag, um, meta tag also modified for page 2 description. So this is about React Helmet. So usually what all the React uh, uh, DOM dot document dot head, what all the valid tags we use for document dot head can be used for the React Helmet. So let's see now how to use that React Helmet. So initially we need to install a dependency called uh, npm install react helmet so we need to have this dependency so i have installed this uh, earlier so let's sh uh, i will show you once you install that dependency this library react.helmet so you need to import helmet component from this library and you need to wrap your component i mean at the head part for example page one is a component here you can do whatever you want in this page one so this is a component related rendering so if you keep helmet at here so this will make the document.head dynamically. So it will render, it will modify. When it, this component loads, this, this helmet will take care of modifying the title and meta tags as well. So that's all about this helmet, how to use this helmet. All the valid HTML document header tags can be used under helmet here. So here I have two pages, two helmet tags. So if you have nested components or uh, if you have a parent-child relationships, like example, I will show you in a, a sample code base. So here I have a parent-child relationship. So here I have a parent and uh, inside the parent I have one child. So for, for parent I have given one helmet, for child I have given one another element. Here what happens is the second element, child element would override the first parent helmet helmet properties. It means whatever we get later helmet features would be override all the will override all the helmet features above so the latest helmet features will be coming so that's the reason if you observe if you run this we'll be getting the child nested title so let me run this and i will show you so i will modify the earlier one app.js the other name and i will try to modify this and i will uh, run this second no. so also we need to uh, understand one more point like uh, yeah, let me run this. Yeah, if you if you observe here, see child nested title. Now you can able to see the child nested title and its related meta tags, nested component meta tags. It means uh, the child helmet React helmet component is overridden by this helmet parent helmet component. So if you observe, uh, we are using a React uh, like uh, let me show you. We are we are using the React helmet component. See, we are using React Helmet component. If you want to use this React Helmet component from the server side, so we need to use this dependency instead of what we have used earlier. So we have used React Helmet. 
So this is for the client side, it, it helps us a lot. If you are trying to use a React application from the server side rendering, then it's important to use this dependency, React Helmet Async, instead of React Helmet. This is because in the server side rendering, what happens is uh, usually all the operations would perform in an asynchronous operation. So when the operations are asynchronous, the React Helmet is not a thread safe. React Helmet is not a thread safe, so it is not safe to use React Helmet dependency library. That's why we need to use React Helmet Async. Remember this point, while you are developing React.js application server side rendering, you go with React Helmet Async so that you can uh, perform async operations and you can have thread safe programming in your React application. Hope you understand the video. Thanks for watching.